hi guys if you are viewing my channel first time please subscribe to my channel for more updates on embedded systems today we are mainly discussing about on microcontroller versus microprocessor okay which one we need to choose to design an any embedded application okay to design any embedded application we need the cpu ram rom memories io ports timers and also serial communication port okay if i want to perform any arithmetic and logical operation then we need cpu if i want to store any temporary data then we need this random access memory if i want to store our application program then we need this read only memory okay if i want to communicate with the switch or sensor or any other io devices then we need this io ports then if i want to perform any timing or counting applications then we need this timers if i want to communicate with any other devices then we need this serial communication port so that if you want to design any embedded application we need this all the devices okay for example if i choose microprocessor as a base for our any application designing then we need to connect all other devices externally through the data bus or address bus or control bus okay in case of microprocessor all the devices are available in a single chip that's why we are calling it as system on chip okay here the cpu or processor here ram or rom memories io ports timer serial communication ports all are available in a single chip okay based on uh, these many criteria we are going to the microcontroller okay here the space is very less compared to our microprocessor with other devices and here the complexity here all the devices are available in a single chip here we need to connect all other devices externally through the buses okay here the very much complexity okay next here the power consumption is very less why because it has only the one chip here we need to uh, uh, feed the power uh, power supply to the all the devices so that it will consume the very much power supply than our microcontroller and it can it, it is very less cost compared to our microprocessor with other devices and it is a single application so that the single application we are flashing to this uh, read only memory so that we are designing one uh, one dedicated application by using this microcontroller okay in case of microprocessor we are generally we are using to perform a multiple tasks okay we are loading multiple tasks to the ram memory and based on our rtos scheduling we are performing uh, one by one task by using our uh, cpu okay this is a mainly for multitasking we are using this general purpose microprocessor in case of single applications then we are using the microcontroller okay mainly based on these many criteria we are going to the microcontroller instead of microprocessor okay thank you friends thank you for watching